If, like me, you're a massive Star Wars fan, then you're going to love this particular video. Now, there's a weapon in the game called Dying Force, and as you can imagine with what you can see on screen now, it is like you've been given the force of a Jedi or a Sith, whichever way you prefer. And yeah, it's quite of a long-winded video on how you can pick this particular weapon up, so we are going to dive straight into it. But, as always, if you do like today's video, the guide does help you out, please hit that like button to let me know. And if you are interested in more Dying Light 2 content, hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's get into it. Now, when you've completed the broadcast mission in the central loop and you've gained access to the VNC tower, it's going to unlock a level zero basement, so to speak, within a secret lift in the basement. And in there, you're going to find five pillars and you're going to have to find five demonic ducks to sit on those pillars. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you the five locations for these ducks. So number one is actually at the top of the VNC tower. Now when you obviously have completed the mission, you can take the lift to the rooftop. And you're going to see this little ledge just to the left hand side of the lift entrance. And if you walk out and look down, you'll see an opening. So you'll see a room below you. You simply drop down in there and you're going to find a few bitty. You're going to find an inhibitor box and a few resources. But more importantly, you're going to find a safe code and you're also going to find a safe. Now, just to save you some time, the safe code is 666. And inside you're going to find the first demonic duck. Number two, you're going to find right on this water's edge between downtown and the wharf. Now, it's actually in a location for a GRE anomaly, or should I say just past it. So if you come in the daytime, you don't have to fight the anomaly, or you can do two things at once, you know, kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. But you're going to want to swing over to it like you would do normally and continue, you know, in a straight direction right through the anomaly area and over the wall at the back. Now, you're going to see a car underwater and when you drop down open the boot the second demonic duck is going to be inside with quite a creepy interior if i do say so myself now number three is going to be located in the northwest corner of Houndfield in a wasteland area and all you need to do is drop down a jump on a nearby tree so obviously you don't die by the chemicals if you use your sense you'll see the investigation symbol pop up you simply want to drop down pick it up and get back on that log before obviously you die. And that is going to be the demonic duck number three. Now both demonic duck four and five are located in the southern part of central loop. So paired them together just for time efficiency. And the first the two is located in the Mount Lucid Observatory. If you come here earlier in the game, you may just have to move a wooden plank from in front of a hole. But either way, you want to jump on top of the armored truck, jump up on the fence. You may just, you know, take a bit of damage off the barbed wire, nothing too serious, and jump in this first tower on your left hand side. And you'll find the demonic duck number four. Now the fifth and final demonic duck is actually located in Newfound Losslands on the water's edge but I found the best way to get there is by coming to this safe area in the bottom right corner of Garrison as there is a lot of wasteland that you simply cannot cross. So if you just follow the on-screen guidance, walk across the edge of obviously the water or you could simply swim, I think the water is safe in this area but you want to jump up here and then where there's no chemical spillage and then if you just jump up one level you'll see the demonic duck number five sitting on the bollard now that you have all the demonic ducks you want to head back to the vnc tower and you want to take the lift to the basement now upon doing so you want to swim back through the area that you obviously came through during the mission come out the other side and head for this now slightly ajar door and you're going to find a location to a secret lift and you are on level one according to this lift so what you want to do is you want to take level zero and when you reach it, you're going to see a demonic ritual room and you see the pillars I talked about earlier on and you want to place each demonic duck on its own pillar then with the power cables behind each pillar you want to create a pentagram which is obviously also very well known as a demonic symbol and upon doing so it's going to spawn a challenge in the middle of the room and it's also its very own easter egg to the old classic video game Doom but instead of your classic Doom characters and monsters it's zombies and volatile so it's a great little homage to a classic title anyway when you start the challenge you want to head for the entrance 
entrance to the right hand side. Following this round will lead you to this room and you want to take the path to the right. Now you're going to notice here it's already open for me but on this right hand side you're going to have an interaction to obviously open the wall which was a feature in the main Doom game. And when you go through there you're going to see the Dying Force blueprint sitting in the middle of this little green area. And yeah, that is it. Once you picked up this blueprint, it'll obviously go into your blueprints. And once crafted, you will feel the force. And you know, it is a great accessory to have. My only concern with it, it is limited to 16 uses. And I'm hoping that this is some type of a bug because it's not a it's not a weapon, it's an accessory. And like your other accessories, like the torch, for instance, you know, that's got a recharge bar on it. So I think something like that would work with this. And I'm hoping that that is changed because, you know, it is quite costly on the old scrap front to craft this weapon but yeah that is it you can now live as a jedi or a sith whichever way you swing and i must admit i think it's got to be my favorite accessory in the whole game Anyway, if you did like today's video and it did help you out, hit that like button, show the channel some love and hit that subscribe button for more Dying Light 2 content. With that being said, take care.